What's the reaction there, would you say, to the way this has opened up, the way it's been going? Well, I think many people now see that it's possible to regulate marijuana, and it works. Uh, you know, yesterday, uh, the other last couple days have just been like any other day in Colorado, except when adults buy marijuana, they are buying it from legitimate legal tax-paying stores instead of in the underground market. Supply and demand, there are reports that prices spiked because there was so much demand. You know, prices are generally a little bit higher than they have been in our in our state regulated medical marijuana market. And obviously there are some taxes now that were not previously there. But ultimately, the prices is, is roughly equivalent to what people see in the underground market around the country. And ultimately, I think people want to buy this product legally. They want to buy it safely in a controlled environment. They want to know what they're getting, and they're perfectly happy paying a little bit more. Uh, we're also likely to see these prices perhaps go down a little bit as these businesses get a foothold and, and their overhead costs of complying with all of these rules and regulations uh, really you know, dies down a little bit now that they've, they've gotten themselves established. Okay, now th you've been a proponent uh, of relaxing marijuana laws for a long time. Do you see a risk in all of this? Is this a testing time? A lot of people are looking at Colorado saying, Let's find out whether it works. You know, people go out and they're driving on it. You're attracting people from out of state, out of the country. You know, making marijuana legal is, is not an experiment or a test. The experiment was making marijuana illegal and prohibiting it. You know, we refer to alcohol prohibition as the great experiment, and most people recognize that it failed. And, and that's what we're starting to see with marijuana is that no one thinks it's working and that there's a better approach. You know, marijuana's been around for years and years. We've had laws on the books to deal with people driving under the influence, and we're going to continue to deal with that, but we're not going to have to see marijuana sold in the underground market by cartels and gangs. It'll just be sold by businesses that are charging taxes and ensuring the customers are safe. Looking at the war, and it is a war that is taking place in Mexico, how confident are you that this is going to pull the rug out from under the illicit marijuana trade that is costing so many lives. You know, there's a reason why we don't see drug cartels trying to traffic alcohol across the border and going to war with one another in order to capitalize on the alcohol market. It's because we've decided as a society to regulate alcohol and it has eliminated that underground market. You know, we got rid of Al Capone and the organized crime associated with, with alcohol sales back in the 30s. And now we treat it like a substance that adults should be allowed to use responsibly. And the same thing is going to happen with marijuana. Do you think that it will force, you know, illegal traders in marijuana, the drug dealers, out of business in Colorado? There are a lot of them. Uh, absolutely. You know, I don't think that people, you know, adults who want to use marijuana, I don't foresee them hitting the streets and searching for a dealer or calling around trying to find someone uh, who might have illegal marijuana when they could simply stop at a store and uh, buy some and know what they're getting and, and be safe doing it. What do you see as the biggest risk? Is it the public use of the drug? Is it flaunting it uh, in, in national parks and places where families hope to gather? Well, ultimately, you know, marijuana is objectively less harmful than alcohol. It's not entirely harmless. And some people do uh, develop an issue with marijuana, a, a much smaller percentage than with substances like alcohol. But people need to be educated. They need to know if marijuana is right for them. And if not, they should avoid it. Uh, but really, the biggest issues surrounding marijuana tend to be the unknown. We don't know who's selling it. We don't know what they're selling or where. We don't know to whom they're selling it. And we don't know exactly what's in the products being sold. But once we regulate it, we can control these things. And that way, consumers know how potent something is, and they can use it a lot more safely and, and responsibly. Mason Vert with the Marijuana Policy Project. I want to thank you for being with us as, well, it may not be, as he says, the great experiment. All the same, the world is watching. Thanks, Mason. Thank you.